You're listening to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. Consider this your vitamin or supplement for your mind and heart. And wherever and however you receive podcasts, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom and leave a rating and a brief written review? It would be so very helpful. It's available everywhere, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and nearly every other platform. Thanks for joining us today. I've entitled today's uh, podcast, 10 Reasons Why You Should Be a Reader. Let's get started. I, I was challenged back in 1981 um, by a professor to be a reader. Now, I so cap it so captivated me and captured me the probably five to ten minutes of the lecture where he talked about why you needed to read that it so captured me that I have become a voracious reader and since 1982 have read and have met a goal to read a lot of books. Now I understand that in and of itself makes little to no difference, but everyone should be reading. And I have just come up with 10 reasons why, leader, you really need to start reading. You may not want to do what I did and got, uh, you know, I've always been that kind of a person. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to jump in 100%. That may not be what you need to do, but you do need to do some reading. Let's go through the 10 reasons, shall we? The first one is, by reading, a leader, you will become a better thinker. When you read whatever kind of literature you're reading, whether it's novel, whether it's not for fiction, whether it's biographies, history, theology, business, really doesn't make any difference. Um, the more you read and the more widely you read, it really helps you to think. It's sort of like giving grist for the mill. It's sort of like putting wood on the fire. You, you become exposed to thinking and thoughts that you would not have had on your own. And let's face it, as a leader, whether you're leading at home or work, wherever, it doesn't matter. You, you, all of us need to think better and think more clearly. And I believe one of the greatest ways to get that accomplished is by consistently reading. That's uh, reason number one. It, it'll make you a better thinker. Reason number two, this is where you come up with new ideas. After all, leader, you're in the idea business. You are needing ideas. And sometimes when you're reading, you'll find people who had some bad ideas that came to bad consequences, and you'll know what not to do. But oftentimes, I have had my thinking sparked and inspired by reading of a biography of someone's life, reading someone trying to work their way through their problem and how they overcame. And it, it inspired and challenged me and gave me uh, new ideas. No one of us are like an idea factory that just keeps producing idea after idea after idea. Where do you find ideas? Well, one of the greatest places to find and come up with new ideas is by being a reader. And so the second of the 10 reasons, leader, why you should be reading is it will help you find and come up with and develop new ideas. Third reason, leader, you should be a reader is it challenges you. It's not very, it's very rare that I'm not challenged by things I read. I see people who seemingly had a lot going against them and a lot of limitations and yet when you read of what they have been able to accomplish, what God has done through them, the things they have overcome, it just challenges you. Even the new ideas and seeing what people have done, there are people who've done a lot with very little, and it just serves to challenge you. If we're not careful leaders, we will start coasting, especially if we've been in a position for a while. We kind of have the routine down. We kind of know what the expectations are. And therefore, it's easy to rest on your laurels and just sort of coast toward retirement. Don't let that happen. Start reading and reading things that will stretch and will challenge you. So that's the third reason, leader, that you should read is because it, the reading will challenge you. The fourth reason 
is it will expand your horizons. We only know what we know, and unfortunately, we don't know what we don't know. And uh, there are many reasons to have ways to have your horizons expanded by hanging out with with people who are different from you, talking with people. Those are all good, but reading will also expand your horizons. I have been able, through the medium of reading, to be able to visit many countries that I physically may never be able to get to. I have heard and listened to conversations with people both real and fictitious, that I will never be able to have a conversation with. Yet by reading, my horizons have been expanded and I have met the most interesting, fascinating people in all the world. And so it'll help you get unstuck. It'll help to expand your horizons. And like I said, it'll keep you from just becoming um, a prisoner of where you are believing that everything has to be the way it always is and the way that it has always been. The fifth thing that reading does for each and every one of us, it sort of is giving us a head start. Um, I have discovered that reading is sort of like the fast pass at Disney. It allows you to go around the crowd and get to the front of the line. You'll you'll learn things. You'll, you'll see innovations before others discover them. And it just really is kind of a head start. And leaders, we are always looking for um, advantages and, and life hacks, as they're called today. I can think of none better, nothing that will give you a head start quicker than being a reader. The sixth thing that reading does for you is it allows you to innovate. None of us by ourselves just continue to come up with creative ways of doing things, but it is by reading. And now when you're reading, you obviously are going to be somewhat attracted to the areas of your interests, the areas of your expertise, the areas where you work, and there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, once in a while, it's, it's a good thing to read in a discipline not like yours. Um, And some books you have to read word by word, paragraph by paragraph. And there are other things when I just am seeking to have a little knowledge about a subject that I know very little or anything about. I'll do some of those speed reading uh, tricks that I've learned down through the years in which I read the first paragraph, the last paragraph of every chapter, and then just the first line of every paragraph until I get to a place where, hey, this is something I want to delve a little deeper you see, you don't have to read every book you you start from cover to cover. I've awful, also have discovered that uh, good books are the enemy of great books. And there are times when I thought there was a book I wanted to read, and when I got into it, it really wasn't what I thought. I'm finding it very difficult to make sense out of it. And I have learned just to close it and move on to the next one. But I have discovered much innovation and much creativity coming from reading books where people were in a place where I wasn't or am not and a place where I would like to be. And you don't always have to create the wheel or you don't always have to start from scratch. There are people who are where you have been. There are people who have been where you have been and have moved on. And you can follow and read some of their lessons and their lives and what didn't work and what did work. And it will allow you to maybe be a little more innovative than you could be on yourself. Let me get by yourself. Let me give you the seventh one. I believe that reading, uh, the seventh reason you should be a reader is it'll make you a better conversationalist. Uh, You will learn to have a better grasp of the language. Plus, the more you read, the more interesting you are, the more things you know about, and this will help you in a conversation. Matter of fact, this would be a good exercise for you to do this week. When you meet someone new and as the conversation is moving around in that little circle where you are, think of something you've read in the last week or two, an interesting fact, an interesting tidbit, perhaps even a quote that you could naturally work into the conversation. It just helps you to have something to talk about. The more you know, the more you've read, the more people you've met, the more things you've done. All of that goes together to make you a quite interesting conversationalist. So reading will help you with that. 
The eighth reason why leader you should be a reader is it helps you to hone your people skills. And you'll say, say what? What does reading have to do with that? Well, especially if you read books on uh, people and the, all of the different interpersonal relationships, it just, you, as you read, you begin to see that um, people are more alike than not, that everyone has problems, every home is dysfunctional, everybody has things in their, in their past they're not proud of, and uh, it gives you empathy, and you begin to understand a little bit more about the human um, experience. So reading uh, isn't just making you an isolated egghead that is unapproachable and a person who can't carry on a proper conversation in polite company. It actually does the exact opposite. I think it makes you have more people skills, more things to talk about, it makes you a more interesting person and that you have something really valuable to add to the conversation. So the ninth is, uh, the ninth reason why you should be a leader, a reader leader, is because it will give you perspective. It is so easy in our lives to lose perspective, to get so caught up in what's going right or wrong where we live and uh, we get so much tunnel vision that my reading time is a wonderful time to give me perspective on life, on my circumstances, and on my situation. So reading is a wonderful tool to give you perspective. And the tenth and final one that I want to give you today, leader, as to why you should read, is simply it will make you more relevant. You'll have something interesting to say you won't get stuck in your ways. All of us went for our formal training at a particular point in time. All of us have our default ways that we operate, thinking, and otherwise. And change is not always easy. But reading helps us with new ideas, new processes, uh, getting exposed to new voices, new thoughts, new ways of doing things. Therefore, it makes us valuable and it makes us more relevant. Now, as you know, part of my morning routine is one of the things that I do. Um, I read the Bible, I pray, I do uh, exercise, lots of little things that I do in the morning. But one that I do is I take 20 to 30 minutes and read. I know ahead of time where I'm going. But if I don't make time for reading, our lives are so busy and so complicated that it will get away from you. I, I would say whether it's morning or evening, Find a time, schedule an appointment with yourself, and schedule time to be reading because it'll make you a better thinker. It's where a lot of new ideas will come from. It will challenge you, give you perspective, expand your horizon. It'll give you a head start on the competition. It will help you with inner innovation. It'll make you a better conversationalist, and it will help you to develop some of your people skills. Not all readers are leaders, but leaders are readers. Um, if you would like to find an interesting podcast, I would highly recommend Jeff Brown's A Read to Lead, where he interviews an author of a book. It's a wonderful way. I, I have learned a lot of books that I've wanted to read by simply listening to Lead to Read, Read to Lead podcast with Jeff Brown. I highly recommend it. You've been listening to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. And I hope today that it's been a vitamin or a supplement for your mind and heart. And again, wherever you receive podcasts from, if you would please subscribe and please leave a rating and a brief written review and spread the word to all of your friends, it, I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, leader, start reading put it into your daily schedule, you'll be pleasantly surprised with the difference it makes in your life. Until next time, this is Dr. Ron saying, Leader, you are doing better than you think you are, and go and have a great and blessed day.